Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody just brought up a pretty neat question, and they've seen me do it on a couple of my videos. Let's say you scroll down from your on your in your uh, laser engraver, and you don't normally use all these colors on RGB, and you make that that pink, but then you change your mind and you don't want it to have any fill. Your fill, your no fill, is gone because it's way at the top of your color palette. So now we can no fill it. Now, one way around it that I'm doing, and I don't like doing this because I don't like that many colors out, is go to rows and to pick three rows. And then no matter where you're at in your color palette, you can, you still have your no fill. But let's say you don't want to do that. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to fill this thing with a blue. What you can do is go to tools, options, customization. And right here, type in no fill. Now there's two of them. We need to go to general and look. This is no fill, remove the fill. This is remove the fill from selected objects and that's what we want. So we're gonna select this one and go to shortcut key. We're gonna use the Q, the Q letter on the keyboard, just the letter Q and we're gonna assign it. And then we're gonna say, okay. So if we're way down in the path, and we don't have the no fill, we could select it and hit the letter Q and it will take the fill away. Now there's other options. You could put it up on your menu board or, you know, all these tools, but one keystroke, you know, this is just, uh, can't get any better than this. Uh, I don't think with a shortcut key and just go, oh, I don't want that Q. Just hit the letter Q. Or any keyboard in your keyboard is not any key in your keyboard that's not being used. And a lot of people don't really understand all the keys when you're typing with the letters, with the text command, you get that letter. But if you do not have text selected, all your hot keys that are already in there, like control V, control Z, you know, um, could, well, I don't have anything. Well, let me group this together. Object. Control G, it's already written in there. Now that's a two letter stroke. And G's not really being used anything. And if you used group a lot, you could change that. And let's just change that real quick. So let's take, um, let's go to tools, options, and customization. And this is what's cool about this. If you don't want to type where it is, you can just go to object, group, and group and it'll go right to the group. Now we could add a shortcut key and just call it G. Now it's currently assigned to the interactive field. So you might want, not want to do that on, on you, unless you, you know, if you don't use the interactive field tool, you could actually change that too. It all depends on what you're getting custom, accustomed to. So maybe that's not such a good idea. So we can just still, Control G, and those are grouped together now. Or I, I get so used to not taking my hand off the off the mouse and using my keyboard, I would just ungroup it or group it as needed up here. You know, it's another step, but I, I get so so. It really depends on what you're accustomed to. But I do like this shortcut for the no feel, because right here I'm just going to hit the Q, took away the feel. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.